Aloha and welcome to another edition of The Daily Bake with yours truly, Chloe Carson. Put your lighters down and get ready to hear what's choking today. We'll start today's session off in the music world where the Smokeout Festival, an all-day party thrown by Cypress Hill and sponsored by Weed Maps, just made some huge additions to its lineup. The already stellar lineup just got a serious boost of adrenaline, as joining Sublime, Korn, and Wiz Khalifa on stage are Currency, the Hot Spitta, Rusko, the Lord of Dubstep, the Low End Theory Crew, Mob Depp, Mastercraft, and Nipsey Hussle. The festival takes place the first weekend in March and will be one you don't want to miss. In other news, a Los Angeles native, Adam Blumenkranz, recently attempted to turn jet blue into jet green on a flight from Fort Lauderdale to Newark, New Jersey. Blumenkranz made the boneheaded decision to light up while on board the plane, which is clearly about as boneheaded of a move as you can make. Medical marijuana patients, and really any recreational user, should simply know better. Actions like these are always a step backwards for the marijuana community, as they bring a negative light on stoners around the globe. While we understand the need to stay medicated, especially when you're about to enter Newark, you should always be sure to keep that lighter parked until you're on land. Long flights are why edibles and products like Tetra Labs Gold Caps were invented. Let's head to the Midwest, where Kansas is looking like it won't be Dorothy's Kansas for much longer. The Sunflower State is pushing to make medical marijuana legal. The newly drafted bill has drawn support from members on Kansas's Committee of Commerce and Economic Development. Activists recently flooded the Capitol building in Wichita to let their voices be heard. Hopefully, a new kind of flower will soon be flourishing in Kansas. YouTube recently opened a dedicated channel as a way for Americans to ask video questions directly to President Obama. The most popular videos were supposed to be addressed directly by President Obama. One of the highest voted video questions was submitted by a former LAPD deputy chief, Stephen Downing. With over 850,000 Americans arrested in 2010 for marijuana charges alone, and tens of billions of tax dollars being spent locking up nonviolent marijuana users, isn't it time we tax and regulate marijuana? This question was deemed inappropriate by our president's channel operators, despite the question's very high popularity and lack of thumbs down voting by the YouTube community. Apparently the YouTube community thought it was very appropriate. But President Obama's team disagreed with the public. In response, Downing wrote a stellar op-ed response for the Huffington Post that I encourage that you check out. Head over to the YouTube channel now and cast your vote for the cause. That wraps up today's bake. Stay smoky, stoners.